and separate two teams from one WHL title. The Everett Silvertips boast the WHL's goalie and player of the year between the pipes. A stingy defense comes with an explosive offense, proving to be best in the West. On the other side, the juggernaut Swift Current Broncos survived difficult divisional opponents in the first two rounds. Then they calmed the Hurricanes in six to claim the East crown. WHL TV presents WHL in 30, Silver Tips and Broncos in the WHL Championship opener next. You're in for a treat and some grand theater. The Rogers WHL Championship Series is now for game one. The Everett Silver Tips take on the Swift Current Broncos. Mike Benton, Doug Sinclair with you. We are glad you can be with us. Defending a net to our right here for the Silver Tips. Carter Hart, the Tips in their green jerseys, green numbers on the back and the white trim. As we're underway, opening puck drop brought to you by Washington's Lottery. Swift Current worked it in. Tips counter quickly. Dewar for Peel on right side and a shot for the blue line blocked by traffic. Colby Sissons got in front of that. Deflection now. Over left side for Pilon. Knocked away by Sissons. They do battle in the corner as now Dewar trying to come in and hunt. And this one chipped away as now Swift Current. Angles one right side. Caden Elder towards center. And taken away by the tips and Jake Christensen. Gave it right back now. Attacking left wing for Swift Current. Gennaro into the offensive zone. Shoots it wide. And the rebound over to the right side. Swung him back now, Gennaro. Off left corner, Alexi Heponiemi. A talented playmaker. He sets up Gennaro, whose wrist shot left circle is taken care of by Carter Hart. Rebound off the shoulder. Up for grab. Steenbergen jumping in. Took it away left side. Fires and blocked by traffic. Loose puck into the far corner. And now Dewar for Jay Christensen. 18.55 to go in this opening frame. And Swift Curran takes it away. They push it behind the cage and set up. Got him, but a pass swung wide. And now a blast from the left side wide by Josh Anderson. To the near boards, Dewar. Got the clear, took a hit. Went and got him, took it away. Feathers back in. Tips control is now Christensen for Wyatt Wiley. Leads up the right side of the red line. And Bykov deflects it in toward the net. And turned away by Stewart Skinner. Martin Fasco Rudis. Back from injury. Hasn't been seen since game four last round. Took the puck, chipped away by Nagel. Tips now recover back in their own zone. Davis for Andre Valla. Scoots it up the left, and Fasco Rudis dodging a big hit. He fed it behind the net for Sean Richards. Josh Anderson next, Prince George Cougar jumping in. Also a trade deadline pickup. Away to Estefan at center. Floats one ahead, fighting now down the right side. Worked on by Kevin Davis. As Davis won that battle and trying to force it up the left boards, and Batelli out to center ice now for Bryce Kinda. He forces one back in, Swift Curran's zone and taken away. Broncos and Colby Sissons feather it back in, blocker side corner of Carter Hart. And Swift Curran changing up here with now two minutes and 15 seconds gone by. Davis up the right side for Pilon. The flex is back in behind the Swift Curran net and play by Stewart Skinner to the far corner and Sissons up and out to center ice. Left wing, Cole Gable. In across the line, his wrist shot blocked by traffic. Gunnan following up and punched away by Gianni Fairbrother. Tips control and now Pilon. To center red, cruising in. Right wing, Swift Curran zone. Looking to the front and a feed out of the reach of Riley Sutter. To the blue line, Christensen shot deflecting off of Garrett Pilon and wide. And back to center ice now. Gable will dump it back in for a Swift Curran change. And so far, great rhythm and pace, Doug. We have going no score in about three minutes gone by. It's a great way to start the series. Wide open hockey back and forth. Tip turn it over at center. Brought back in. Malenstein slap shot blocked from the left wing. And now Ian Walker took it away. Spinning one around to the right side. And now Richards hit by Saban Kara. The ex-Seattle Thunderbird. Walker now takes a hit against the backboards by Malenstein. Tips advance the puck, though. The Pilon closed off by Matteo Gennaro. And Saskatchewan product trying to force it around to the left side. Now given away to Elder. Looking Malenstein knocked away. Gennaro centering toss. Rolls up the middle. Tips control. Possibly three and two if they hustle. Right wing peel on and across the line. Looking Fontaine and broken up by Anderson. And the Broncos now back on a counterattack. Elder left wing works in. No scores. 16-15 to go. Just underway here in game one. The Rogers WHL Championship Series. Tips of Andre Valla and Wyatt Wiley back on defense. They move it up the left wing. Dewar brings it in. Lost the puck. Controls. Takes a shot. Save made by Skinner. 
and a rebound. Lewis Bykov jumping in and threw one back out of the reach of Wyatt Wiley, and down it goes. Great play by Dewar, just getting pucks on net. Uh, hit him square, square. Then tips go Richards, Fontaine, and Bykov out there as the faceoff won by the Silver Tips, an angle by Wyatt Wiley off the right boards, and back into the Swift Current zone. Sissons now gave it away. Fontaine is on side, but lost his edge at the left wing. And Steve Bergen steering back for his own defense. And behind the Swift Current net, Sissons misfires on a pass. It's Lewis to Manulum, but the tips were trying to be cautious there as the Broncos break up ice. With Steenbergen left wing, who took the shot, and that missed the net. And a rebound of the near boards and skated back out by the tips and Sean Richards. He copped it up. Right wing got and counterattack in. His wrist shot low, but a save made by Carter Hart. And thought about dropping it, but instead hangs on here, and we have 13.07 zone swift current zone. Epo Niemi breaking up ice. Tips have him in check. The feet of the right wing. Steen Bergen brings it in. Centering attempt. Chipped away. Great play. And Matt Fontaine counterattack with speed. Down the right wing. His wrist shot blocked by traffic. Fairbrother follows up at the left side. Gun one toward the net and taken away by Artia Manulin. And clear to center ice. Shots are 4-2 swift current. Nothing, nothing, our score here in game one. Tips break in, left side. Wiley, wrist shot, routine glove saved by Stuart Skinner. And he hangs on now with 11.38 to go in period one. This is a tremendous matchup, Doug, that we're seeing in net. By Anderson, a swift current. Tips change up now, getting Pilon, Sutter, and Dewar out there, completing that. And Christensen with Wyatt Wiley back on defense. Wiley takes over deep in the Tibbs zone. Lee toss up the left wing. Out of the reach of Connor Dewar. Penalty is coming up as Wiley got up, bended with 5.42 to go. And that will be a tripping call coming up on Beck Malenstein. Contact way back behind the play. Dug right toward the right circle, Tibbs zone. And they're going to get their first man advantage of this game. Yeah, and this is a huge moment in the first period. Great job by Wyatt Wiley being able to be able, uh, retrieve the puck, looking up ice. That's one. Swift current, very good PK in the postseason tied for third. Tips bring him back in, right side Pilon. Against the board, sets up Fontaine, right circle, hangs on. Steered one back, that's blocked by Sissons and deflecting over to the right side. Dewar's low to high pass to Pilon. Cross ice Davis to Bykov, left circle, dangles by one. Bykov toward the net, he scores! What a play and what a goal. Patrick Bykov, 5-17 to go in the first period. Dangling around the Swift Current penalty kill. And he goes forehand on Stewart Skinner. The Silver Tips open up game one with a 1-0 lead. What execution by the Silver Tips. That starts in the faceoff. Faceoff is outside the blue line. Silver Tips win the faceoff, gain zone entry. And I tell you, Matt Fontaine with the patience he had down low, uh, without panicking, he could have got that puck to the net early. He hung on. I, what I noticed is the silver tip, or sorry, the uh, Swift Current Bronx on the goal to Bykov from Kevin Davis and Garrett Pilon. So Davis picks up right where he left off after the historic OT goal in game six against Tri City. Got in a wrist shot from the left wing, save made by Hart to the blue line, Manulin to Steenbergen, right circle, chipped away, and clear back out by Bryce Kinda. Well, that goal by Bykov settled this building down just a little bit. It's got him from the right side. Wrist shot, save made by Carter Hart. Rebound far boards, and Fasco Rudis pushing one ahead. Through center rice on a feed to Richards. Knocked down by King, and it rolls behind Skinner. And it's jumping in now. It's taken by Hepo Niemi, and the Broncos clear back to the silver tip line. Center ice. The 2.18 to go. Malenstein, a burst of speed and across the line. Hustling over left corner is Caden Elder. Spun down low, taken by Gennaro. At the left circle, a sharp angle bid wide. Picked up Elder, sending it Malenstein behind the net. Wrap around bid, save me, Carter Hart. They jam the crease, loose puck taken away by the silver tips. And Bykov, rather bigger part, and Kendop breaks the center. He sent one back in as players get untangled here from Carter Hart. And quickly back through a shot, left wing blocked by Artia Manulin. Counter attack for Godin. Off the left side, Elder and across the line. Drop past Manulin. Guns one in front to Hepo Niemi and a save made by Carter Hart. Hepo Niemi looking for Elder in front, just sent wide. Loose puck, far boards, and Pilon gave it away at the line. Manulin walking in, snapshot, blocked by a diving Pilon, kept in. Left side, Manulin looking back door and just skipped away from Elder. Bounce in front, Elder jams away, and Carter Hart hangs on. And we have 17.2 to go in period one. And that was the most sustained pressure the tips have seen by Swift Current in a while. But they don't bend. 
And they keep it 1 nothing with 17.2 to go in the first. And that's one of those situations where you got to be aware of the clock the last minute. At 12 to 9. This one by Swift Curran. Gennaro through traffic and a wrist shot. Pretty clever one, but Hart got that one all the way. More pushing and shoving at the net here. That's all broken up, and we have 14.3 to go. And that's another area. That's an area. More exciting WHL action still to come on WHL in 30. They do everything like an NHL team would do with these young kids. And, uh, you know, that for me is, as a parent, is the most comforting thing, knowing that my child is taken care of. Lissett should have one timer stop. Rebounds. Down the line, if things don't work out, there's the, you know, the college education that the, these kids accumulate playing in the Western Hockey League. So, um, you know, if things don't work out, you know that you can always go back to school and, and go to university and get an education. Welcome back to WHL in 30. The action continues in our feature game of the week. 35 to go. Wiley to Sutter right wing. Pushing one against the grain, leaves for Pilon right corner and takes it behind the net, and he's flattened by Matteo Gennaro. The play continues on as Colby Sissons takes over. Up the middle, his pass taken by Dewar at center away. Sends across ice, Pilon to Sutter in front. Saved made by Skinner and deflecting out of play. Oh, so close. Counter attack up the right for Matt Fontaine. Hit by Hefo Niemi. Fontaine steers it in toward the right corner. Godin is there. Broncos take it back as now Kara through center. Litas Hepo Niemi weaving his way into the offensive zone. To the right circle. Hits the brakes. Looking down low. Plays into an open side. And his shot knocked away by traffic. And now a loose puck. Fairbrother couldn't clear. Got in right corner controlling. Off the backhand. Spun away by Fairbrother. Got and got it back. Set one cross ice. Sisson's shot blocked by Bykov. And deflecting over left corner. Loose puck fighting. Cross ice out of the reach of Manulin. All the way down it goes. Back into the Broncos zone. And we have Hart lets it go to Ian Walker. Left side for Christensen. Up the boards for Fontaine and spun around as his stick knocked out of his hands as he was checked by Malenstein. Penalty coming up against Swift Current. Hart to the bench as Christensen from the right side given away to Caden Elder. And a kneeing penalty with 16.36 to go. In period two, a feed of the left corner for Bykoff. At the circle now, dropping it for Pilon. Lost the puck, taken by Dewar, took the shot, saved Skinner. Rebound leak, but just out of the reach of Fontaine. Three for the tips and four and five for the Broncos, so both were very weary. Tips control right side, Wiley through traffic, shot, safe. Asko Rudis rebound and turned away by Skinner. Loose puck behind the net, Giorgio Estefan. Clears off the board to traffic. Steenbergen trying to keep it in. Found God in top of the right circle. Sends it back to Kara. Wrist shot, standing blocker, save Carter Hart. Rebound to the near boards with 10.55 to go. Bykov trying to muscle it away. Godin also in there for Swift Current. And sent back to the line for Sissons. He rides the blue line. Sissons now straight away. Wrist shot, glove save by Carter Hart. And he hangs on with 12.40 or 10.42 to go. And now we get tempers flaring. Everybody jumping in for stripes and orange armbands. And now Tron got and jumped in. Tripped up and a penalty coming up on the silver tips. 10.37 left here in the second. And Swift Current will get to the power play here for the first time. A four-on-three situation. And Pilon will take a seat. And that was right off the faceoff. Just basically stepped on the stick. Swift Current controlling. Sisson to the right side for Hepo Niemi. Circling over to the left. And dropping it, Godin in deep, Hepo Niemi. Godin to Hepo Niemi behind the net, back to Godin, left side, save made, Carter Hart, and deflecting away. What a save by Carter Hart to keep it 1 0. Hepo Niemi right side regains into the slot, slides it right side to Godin. Now tracing back up high, whips it over left circle, Hepo Niemi. Back into the slot, hangs on, takes a shot, save made again, and deflecting over Godin. 
Left side, sends across ice, return back to Godin, top of the right circle, took the shot, save made again by Hart. Rebound off to the left. Sissons controlling, dropping to Hepo Niemi, walking in, left circle to Sissons, right side, Godin fires, missed the net. Loose puck behind the cage, Sutter digging in, hard rims at left side, but kept in by Sissons. Cross ice toss to Godin, into the slot, left side, Estefan and blocked by Wiley. Estefan left side. Sends it off toward the right. Hepo Niemi controlling. Into the slot. Hepo Niemi hangs on. Left side. Send it back out of the reach of Estefan. Unforced error. Mitch Love trying to force a quick penalty kill change. Estefan brings it back in right side. Shoots. Save made by Carter Hart. Deflecting over left corner. Sissons. Cross ice. Hepo Niemi. Into the slot. Left side. Estefan. Save made by Carter Hart. What a performance here on this penalty kill. Tips control Fontaine, got the clear, down it goes. Tips on top, 1-0. Carter Hart is in the zone. He made two or three tremendous saves on that sequence. How about that for taking the stage here in game one? Gennaro left wing for Swift Curry and across the line, forced toward the net, wide by Kevin Davis. Right corner, got in, centering attempt, Hepo Niemi bounces away. To the right side, Gennaro kept it in from the line. Left side, set one in front, they score. Alexi Heponiemi was in deep and got that deflection with 8.34 to go in period two. Yeah, and Heponiemi picks up on the postseason, his fourth, a power play goal. And Swift Curran has turned this building alive. It's tied 1 1. And that's one of those situations where the penalties ended. Uh, I think Heponiemi had probably about a two minute shift there, but he stayed with the puck. Uh, there's a little confusion in the silver tips end. Uh, guys trying to change with the change there, and basically as a final tip play, uh, goes to the back of the net. After several mesmerizing saves by Carter Hart, and you can put them down against a swift current bench, but that's chipped away, and God and dumps it back in for a full change. Kevin Davis with 4.34 to go, left side for Vala. Lee toss off Ken Dopp and steered back behind the swift current net. Played by Skinner around to the near side. Led to center ice on the attack, Tanner Nagel. And across the line, hit by Wiley. Nagel into the corner, takes it behind the net. Spun away by Wiley. Estefan funneling one of the right boards. Kept in by Andrew Fighton. Puck up for grabs out of the corner. Vitelli is there. Got the clear to center. Here comes Fasco Rudis. Chipped away by Anderson at the blue line. Gendop will chip it in. Gendop took a hit from Tanner Nagel and the crowd responds. Inside four minutes left here in period two. Tied at one, game one of the WHL Championship Series. Pilon dumped it in. Sutter going after Kara. Anderson left, Cypher Swift Current. Angles it up the glass. Chip to center ice, tip taken away. Here comes Pilon on across the line. Left side for Dewar. Took the shot. Save made off the glove of Skinner. Sutter funnels it back to Wiley. Cross ice Fairbrother looking in front and just out of the reach of Sutter back door. At the left side, Estefan. Clear to center ice. Tips work it back in. Both teams go. But the Broncos insistence. They break the center. Up the right side, Malenstein. In across the line. Wrist shot knocked down by traffic. Loose puck. Elder is there. His shot blocked. And deflecting over for Sissons. Spun around by Bicob, but Sissons recovering and feeds Gennaro off the left board. Sent one of the net, knocked down. Elder, sharp angle bit off the side of the cage. Malenstein takes over, walks out, shoots it wide from the right. And kept in by Sissons from the blue line. To the right, Simon Ullin. Shot knocked down by traffic, tips control. Bicob got the clear with 2.04 to go. Jay Christensen to collect. In deep second period, tied at one. Up the wing, Bykov right side. Slap shot from 60 feet. Gloved down by Stewart Skinner. And we get a whistle now here with 153 to go here in period number two, tied at one. The Silver Tips saying B to B. Part. Change coming up here for Swift Current. 110 to go in the second. Game one tied at one. Davis behind the cage. Puck tap three. Off for Pilon. Lease is center. Dewar ahead for Riley Sutter. And across the line, cuts right side and a wrist shot glove by Skinner. And he hangs on now as Sissons and Sutter. Sutter now right now tying up the blue paint. 
And Sissons angles it. Long pass up the left side to Gennaro and sent back in tip zone. Carter Hart lets it go to Wiley and now crossed up. Set a ring attempt, just chips wide. And the tips dodge that bullet as Pilon clears. Dewar stepping up into the offensive zone, but taken away by Manulin. Played the body. Left side Sutter. Set one to the line for Christensen. His wrist shot sent wide. Rebound to the right boards, and Malenstein controls. Golfs this one to center. Six seconds left. Wyatt Wiley checks the clock. And one last play for Jake Christensen as this one's a good one. We go to period two into the intermission now. Tied at one. Both teams just one goal coming on the power play. And Carter Hart so far looking like he's brought the A game. 25 saves on 26 shots, including a variety of extremely tough to remarkable saves he made just before. More exciting WHL action still to come on WHL in 30. Uh, it's been a great experience so far. I can't believe how fast it's gone by. For my player development, it's been it's been crazy how far I've come since I was 16 years old. So, um, you know, I can't thank, thank uh, the WHL and the CHL enough for that. With Matt Fontaine of the Everett Silvertips, Matt, we're here in Swift Current. Uh, game one of the WHL championship goes tonight. What's the outlook heading in? Yeah, it's a really exciting time. Um, really happy to be here and just uh, it's going to be a really good series. They're, they're a really good team and they're here for a reason. So uh, moving forward, I think we just need to make sure we're on top of our details and playing the game that we want to play. It's been a long road to the WHL Championship Series uh, for your group. So, you know, what kind of lessons have you learned along the way and, and how do you apply them moving forward here? Yeah, and obviously we've had a lot of ups and downs throughout the season and playoffs as well. I think the one lesson would just be uh, you can't give up on games or give up uh, at any times during the season, I think. Um, we've had some rough patches, but even when we get down, uh, we believe in the character guys that we have in the room, and um, we just need to stick with our game plan. A lot of talk about the goaltending matchup in this series. Obviously, you have Carter Hart on your side of things. Uh, what can you say about the stability that he provides your group at the back? Yeah, having a guy like, like Hartsey, it's, it's incredible. He's... Uh, he's done so much in his career, and he's such a big part of our team. Um, it's just, it's, it's really comforting being able to have that guy be behind the pipes. Um, it gives us kind of some comfortability moving, moving up the ice, knowing that if we do have a mistake, he's going to be back there to back us up. At the other end, uh, Stuart Skinner, you know, what's the scouting report on him? How do you, how do you make the most of your opportunities there? Yeah, uh, Stuart Skinner is a great goalie. He's the goalie of the month, month for a reason. He's been uh, incredible throughout the playoffs. So. Uh, he's a big goal, he moves well, so I think we just need to filter as many pucks as we can and not trying to do, do too much, just trying to keep it simple. Last question I'll ask you, what's the key to success for game one? I think just uh, using our speed, making sure we're on top of our details and uh, not trying too much. They're, they're a really good team, it can make you pay if you turn over the puck at the wrong time, so uh, just keeping it simple and sticking to our game plan. All right, thanks for this, Matt, and best of luck. Right on, thank you very much. Again, Sutter and we're off. Sutter getting the draw win. Up the middle, deflected off Colby Sissons. Here come the Silver Tips with speed. Fontaine down the right wing, drives the net. Oh, and he just lost the handle on it. Back comes Malenstein. He'll gain the Everett line, left wing side, and shoots. Hart got a piece of that. Gotten. Steenbergen stopped by the left pad of Hart. Wow, what a save. The quick reflexes. Now Steenbergen behind the net. Back to the line for Kara. He'll shoot, and Hart saw that one all the way. And will hold on as Tyler Steenbergen had his best chance of this game, letting go of a quick snapshot from the slot that Hart denied with the left pad. Dewar slips off Gennaro. Into the corner, dropping it for Pilon. To the blue line, Vala to Pilon. Returned up high, Vala took the shot, he scores! Andre Vala! 18-11 remaining in period three. It deflected right past towards Skinner. It appeared Connor Dewar had that deflection. If it stands for Connor Dewar, it is his 10th of postseason play. And the Silver Tips reclaim the lead on a screen in front. It's 2-1. Play to Malenstein down the left wing. Malenstein shoots off the helmet, I believe, of Hart on that one. 
And back come the Silver Tips. Pilon speeds up the middle, moves it to Dewar, and he'll shoot it across the front of the net. No, it waved off. Everett had a chance to play and chose not to. Broncos change to their top line. Steenbergen's got the puck, cuts in, wristed it wide. Gennaro flicks it up to the Everett line. That gets in. Elder will chase. And against Fairbrother, who whacks it behind the net to Wiley. Malenstein checks him. Trying to get the cycle going. Malenstein wrap around. Stop. Loose puck. Gennaro to the net. Doesn't get through. Dewar back the other way down the left wing. Cuts across the middle into Swift Current territory. Stops and shoots. And Skinner made the save. Pounced on for Everett quickly by Vitali. Taken away, though, by the Broncos. Up to Haponiemi. Draw deep in Swift Current territory. Fontaine against God. One by Fontaine. Good play by Sissons. Here's Haponiemi trying to get free. Vala catches up. Swipes at it in the corner. Can't clear. Two minutes left. Third period. A giveaway in the middle. Gennaro. Glove save by Carter Hart. The WHL Player of the Year rising to the occasion on a giveaway between the circles. Highway robbery by Carter Hart. 33.5 to go. Wiley jumping in. Gennaro digging away. Tips control as now Wiley. Forcing it far boards. Kept in. Wiley again to the far corner. 23 seconds left. Tips up 2-1 here in game one. The end of the battle. Sutter trying to tie it up against Gennaro. Godden now checked by Wiley. 12 seconds still left. It's going. It's ticking. Loose puck. Godden sent one back up high. Tips control. Bykov got the clear. Four seconds left. Two seconds left. Estefan from center sends it in. That will do it. The Silver Tips have won it. How sweet it is. The Everett Silver Tips are three wins away from the Ed Chanelf Cup. It is their first WHL Championship Series victory in franchise history as they outlast the Swift Current Broncos 2-1 to one here in Game 1. And the Silver Tips lead the Rogers WHL Championship Series one game to nothing.